Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, since I last wrote you about the tremendous need of our migrant brothers and sisters at the border, Casalitas has received well over 200 new volunteer inquiries and the same number of donations to support their response to this humanitarian crisis. I could not be more grateful for this wonderful outpouring of support. Casalitas currently operates out of seven locations in Tucson and one in Nogales. Immigrants and asylum seekers currently being released by Border Patrol in Tucson, Nogales, Naco, and Douglas are now being transported by county transport and other means to Casalitas. We are very grateful for the coordinated effort of Border Patrol and the Arizona Department of Emergency Management for their role in this critical effort. There are actually 9 to 11 rural transports performed daily. The City of Tucson, Pima County, and temporary staff are supplementing Casa Alita's own wonderful staff and volunteers. This week, Casa Alita's received approximately 800 people per day, although last week, 1,200 arrived in a single day. Casalitas continues to provide much needed support in the form of food, clothing, medical attention, and aid in the brief time asylum seekers and migrants are with us before continuing their journey to those waiting for them throughout our nation. Since Sunday, Casalitas has provided overnight shelter to 1,500 people each night. Shelter in Tucson is provided by Casalitas as well as City of Tucson Hotel Space, secured specifically for these increased numbers of guests. Given the thousands of lives impacted by Casalitas, they are still in need of support. Items needed include snack-sized food, travel-sized toiletry items, baby care items, backpacks and practical clothing. A full list of needed items can be found on the Casa Alitas website. Items can be dropped off Monday through Friday during business hours at Catholic Community Services located at 140 West Speedway in Tucson. Brothers and sisters, as Catholics, we are called to serve the vulnerable, especially children and the defenseless, in a humanitarian crisis. Let us call to mind the words of Jesus. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. A stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me, ill and you cared for me. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me.